Valentina Shevchenko will be 32 next month. Chukagian also 31. Chukagian four inches taller. She'll have a reach advantage of an inch and a half. All right, now for the introductions for our co-main event. Here is the well-dressed Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this championship bout is presented by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Marcos Rosales, Joshua Ferraro, and Chris Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Jacob Montalvo. This fight is five rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. 13 wins, two losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 124 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Abney Harbor, New York, by way of Quakertown, Pennsylvania, presenting the number one ranked flyweight contender in the world, the challenger, Catlin Bonfighter, Chukagian. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a big partial artist, holding professional record. 18 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 124 and one half pounds. Fighting at a bitch kick, Kyrgyzstan, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina. Okay, hey ladies, we've been over the rules. Let's have a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times and follow my commands at all times. Let's touch it up if you'd like to now. Good luck, ladies. For my money, nothing in pro sports quite like the tension of a UFC championship fight. And Caitlin Chukagi, she's been pretty ice cold here this week, too. Not at all phased by the atmosphere right, of her first UFC championship fight. week. We'll see how it goes for her. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo Brew for those with a fighting spirit. Chukagian in the blue with white. Shevchenko in the black and gold befitting a champion. Shevchenko has a really nice spin kick that she lands up. When you start attacking her lead leg, she brings the leg in and switch and, mm. and spins on it. It's very clean, so... Keep a lookout for that if Chukagian keeps attacking like that, trying to keep that weak side in game. Chukagian feels like she's got a great five-round style. She went five rounds in her sixth pro fight to win the CFFC flyweight title back in the day. And Valentina is doing a very smart thing. She's just pressuring her, but not throwing much. She's trying to gauge. She's trying to look for her range. And Caitlin's trying to get comfortable find her range, find her distance, and see if she can utilize that reach advantage. But you see how she's a little bit hesitant in extending. Hard to blame her. Left hand is there for Shevchenko. Shevchenko is about as technical as you're ever gonna see a striker in, in all of MMA. And a, a great example of that is the Holly Holm fight. She found Holly's distance early on and started landing that check right hook, and it shut most of Holly's offense down. Everything about her is calculated. Tech oh! Spinning back fist lands for Shevchenko. Loaded up on that left hand. Oh my goodness, she's swinging for the bleachers. And because she's a little shorter and she gives up the reins, what she does, she's just waiting for Chikagian to just touch her. And then you'll see a two, three punch combo right after that following her. And that's what she does so well with her counter. She waits for just a touch and then three, four punches ending with a kick. It's also, there's such grave consequences to making an error with her because she really can shut the lights out, particularly with her kicks. 
Nice little sequence there for Shevchenko. Chikagian attacks that lead leg of Shevchenko effectively there. Brutal, brutal leg kick right there. Yeah, you can already see the redness around that knee area on the lead leg of Chukagian. Question mark kick just missed. She's trying to find the range. Well, the fact that she's landing 3-2 and then ending with a low kick, that low kick is the range finder. That's what she's touching her with at the end of these two punches. So that's the beginning of her finding her range. It's going to take a little bit longer, but Shevchenko's finding it. You're seeing her get closer and closer with every counter. Those help with her range, too. Leaning back when Shukagian kicks, things like that help her with her range. And Caitlin has got to do something to get her respect. She's got to catch her coming in. And if I was Caitlin, I would think about maybe let Valentina lead. Valentina likes to counterattack. Let her lead, let her attack. I mean, oftentimes you see when, when a fighter is a counterattack. There's a good shot by Caitlin and a nice takedown by Valentina. Full guard by Caitlin Chikagian. And Shevchenko has now taken down all of her UFC flyweight opponents. Showed some serious physicality there and made it look easy in getting Chukagian on her back. One minute to go round one. Caitlin has such long legs. If she utilizes a high guard here. Right now she's, when you, whenever you see someone cross their foot like that and use a triangle from the guard, that's a non-offensive position. That means they're just trying to hold someone in place. And, you know, that can be just a, a temporary thing or it can be that they're, look, now she's a high guard. She needs to grab that ankle. As she pulls that foot up like that, she's got to grab that ankle to secure that position. She's got great leg dexterity and great flexibility, and that can come into play, but she's got to utilize it. But Valentina, again, very technical. Notice she does not put her hands on the mat. The hands are always on the chest. She doesn't give any opportunities. Caitlin keeps utilizing that high guard, but she's not getting anything off from it. Oh, big oh, oh, sliced her right open. Oh, my goodness. Nice elbow. Wow. Tonight's corner cam is brought to you by Body Armor Sports Drink, superior hydration with no artificial flavors or dyes. Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. Grab one today at 7-Eleven. One elbow, and it's a nasty cut. It's not bad at all. On the bottom, elbow yourself. She's not doing much on the on the top. Just that one elbow. That was it. So if you're on the bottom, stay active. Okay. Have confidence in your speed. Your head's going off every time. Just speed up an inside left off of it. You follow what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. Hands inside whenever we're in bottom position. Okay. Caitlin, let's look, let look to counter the counter. Okay. Okay. Re counter. You throw. She's throwing. Re counter her back. Okay. You follow what I'm saying? Yep. And if you're if you're pawing out. Change the rhythm on your part. Don't yeah. make it the same way. Don't She's make looking it to come way. back with that three if you, if you establish right. timing. Keep yeah. the fates going. Well, Joe, Mark Henry's a pretty good liar. Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't trust him at all after that. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Here it is. Look at this. Slice. Just drops it down perfectly. And then immediately opens up a gap. That could easily drip into her eyes. It's usually worse if it's right on that eyelid. So being above the eyebrow, the eyebrow can kind of shed some of that blood off the eye, but it is a, it is a tough place. There's a good leg kick there by Caitlin. Beautiful kick to the body from Valentina. And there's no telegraph from that. It just fires off. It's such beautiful technique. I see a big speed differential as well so far in this in this fight. I mean, Shevchenko has a speed advantage from what I can see so far. Yeah, and a lot of that comes from the physical strength. You know, she's got the fast twitch muscle fibers, and she can explode. 
There's that beautiful spinning kick to the body you talked about. She times it so well when you start touching yes. the lead leg. That's how she finds her range on it, and that's the counters I'm talking about. She just waits for you to touch her. She's got a ton of weapons. And you can see her work those drills in the bag, and then you see Caitlin try to do it, but Caitlin's having a hard time with that left leg. You can see it's not, it's not working right because of the kicks that she's already absorbed on it, right? And there's another one. When you watch Shevchenko land these spin kicks, the inside kicks, this is her having range and Chukagian not. Yes. That's the difference that you're seeing so far is Chukagian can't find the range. And that's what Shevchenko said is the most important is finding her range and she's done it. Chukagian doesn't have hers. And when you notice Valentina's movement and footwork, it's so purposeful. Like, her feet, her heels are always off the ground. You notice that? She's always on the ball of her feet. She can adjust instantaneously. Slide out, slide in, whether to counter or whether to avoid. It is amazing. You got me watching her feet. Those heels don't touch. She's one of the very best at it. Always light on the feet. Never flat-footed. But she's, like, if you want to mirror yourself or mirror an athlete, a great mixed martial arts athlete, she's one of the best to do it because everything is technical. They were unable to close that cup between rounds, but it doesn't appear to be affecting the vision of Chukagian as yet. Under three minutes here to go in round two of a possible five. John Jones, Dominic Ray is waiting in the wings. Ooh. Beautiful inside leg kick. Blocked the kick and then countered and did real damage. Caitlin's looking for, I mean, she's not giving up. She's trying to find some success, but even when she's throwing those kicks, she's not really extending. She's worried about the counter, so she's pulling out. Like, as she's throwing that round kick, she doesn't quite have the ability to touch her, and then she's getting punished. This is why the odds makers had her a 14 to one favorite. I mean, this is what this is. Oh, oh my goodness, Shane, that one. Oh my goodness, that was perfect. She's axe, axe kick right now. now. She Under just... two minutes in the round, all Shevchenko here. Shevchenko has the timing and the range completely now. And this is where it starts to get tough for the ladies who fight Shevchenko. When she gets her rhythm and her timing, and she starts landing her takedowns too, now she has the fight and she has the momentum, and this is where she starts to get better and better. In and now she's in half guard on top. I mean, she's, she's clearly dominating on top. Excuse me, dominating standing up, and now she's got her on the ground, on her back. Not a lot of time to work, but enough to get off some more nasty elbows. And Let's she's see, looking she for can, one right here. Yeah, work on that cut potentially. Part of the reason you're seeing Chikagian eat those elbows too is when she does that body triangle from the bottom, she's flat on her back. You're not on a hip, so you can't roll your shoulders and block yourself. You're just open for big strikes. And right now you're seeing that Shevchenko has that third point pressure on her chin, so she can't move her head side to side, which makes it hard to move to your hip. Yes. So she can't move her hips or get her body moving, and Shevchenko's just got that pressure and sticking her head to the mat and just keeping that top pressure. Very good. And that's nasty pressure on her chin there. The way she's doing that with her forearm and the back of the neck and then her shoulder digging under the chin, Caitlin's having a really hard time getting out of this. Valentina keeps shoving that forearm there. Now she's back to full guard. Good adjustment by Caitlin. She's got to reach up and grab one of those legs and secure that position. If she does that, okay, there she goes. But she's got, maybe she doesn't know how to do it. She's got to hook, she's got to underhook one of those legs and pin it down on the neck. That's the only thing that's going to keep Valentina from posturing up. See, she's she's lifting her legs up by themselves and they keep sliding back down. You can do that in the gi. With no gi, it's very, very difficult unless you're grabbing it and going to what they call mission control. Right. Dominant second round for Valentina Shevchenko landing at a near 70% clip. Back to work on that cup in the corner of Chukagian. After that left hand, she's looking for that outside kick. So if you pop out, come back to that right hand. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She's going to one. She's missing with the left. Come back with the right hand on that outside kick. You understand? Let's take a look at some of the nasty kicking technique of the champion. One to the body there, and then slides out of the range of the counter. Boom! One to the thigh. And look at this wheel kick. Right over the top of the shoulder. Now listen to it in real time. I mean, that is inches away from a KO. 
Just beautiful, man. And she just caught her with the, the foot, the, the ball of the foot instead of the heel. A couple inches lower, and, and she could have easily gotten knocked out there. Outstanding job by our cut man, Rudy, there as you see the strikes absorbed for Caitlin Chukagian. Whole lot of them. And as you see, Shevchenko does not Round discriminate. Three. Round three brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. Wish we had that cut man for the Diaz fight. I don't think it would have helped. <laughs> There we go. Caitlin got off that shot. Nice knee. Now Chukagian thought about pulling guard. Straight to a trip. Interesting. Crucifix position. Very bad for Caitlin. Very bad. She very much accepted that takedown. Yeah. Didn't try to fight it at all. Well, this is what happens. She was. She was trying to pull guard and accept the takedown, and then she stopped doing that, and then Valentina made the adjustment. Now it's a terrible position. Oh. This, this easily could be the end of the fight here, and it may very well be. Oh, that's, that's it. it. That's and it. still the best in the world by a mile, Valentina Shevchenko. What a dominant performance. And this, this, leaves, this leaves us in a crazy position, because, like, what fight do you want to see in this division now? I mean, none of them make sense. Good luck, Sean Shelby. Good luck, <laughs> Mick Maynard. Good luck. Throw Shelby in with it. Yeah, Shelby deferring Both to Mick says that's not my division. It's, it's, it's going to be so hard to find a fight that makes sense. Someone is going to have to rise. And it, it's, I mean, I, I almost feel bad for Valentina for being so dominant. Uh, I don't feel bad for her for being dominant. She's setting the bar for the sport for mixed martial arts. And she's showing women, yes. this is where you got to be. This is how good you have to be. You got to be good at jiu-jitsu. You have to be good with takedowns, good at judo, and perfect in your striking. Because that is the level that Shevchenko is setting. That's the bar set. She's such a specialist. I mean, she's so good. Well, I think somewhere in Las Vegas, JoJo Calderwood is saying, I'll take a shot as politely as she can articulate you gotta that. got to be very polite. This fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff. Bold character since 1872. A lot for the replay guys to choose from here, Dom. All right, here we go with the takedown for Shevchenko. She, ties, she gets a good knee landed on her, but you see Chukagian go for guard, and then they, that gives up the hips badly right there. She goes straight to side mount. Passes, goes right over to the crucifix, immediately transitions, and just starts the pounding from there. I mean, that's a hard position to be in, especially in the beginning of the round when both of them are, you know, very strong and dry, and the punches just start landing, and you see Chikagian can't get out of here. And that's pretty much all that it looks like right here, is just eating punches with no, no defense whatsoever to protect her face at Chikagian. Both arms tied up, she's stuck. Beautiful finish, beautiful technique. And the rest of the fight ends right here with these flips. She's always got something flashy going on. Shevchenko. Well, once it's official, it'll be just the eighth knockout in UFC history from the crucifix position. Chukagian was hoping for a little bit more time to fight out of it. But alas, the flyweight world still goes through Shevchenko. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jacob Montalvo has called a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko.